Good morning, happy Saturday. I wanna show you guys how to make an easy pancake recipe. I'm sure something like this might be popular with your families and we're gonna do it in a blender. So something I like about a blender pancake is that you don't get a lot of bowls dirty and you can also whip up a lot of things into the batter and blend them so that you get a smoother, creamier texture. Really simple. I'm gonna make a pancake with oats, banana, a little egg, and some almond milk, naturally sweetened with a little maple syrup and some of the um, carbohydrate simple sugar from the banana. So this is not using any flour or refined sugar. It's naturally wheat and um, cow's milk or dairy free if you choose to use a nut milk or other seed milk alternative really simple. You can add any additional um, components here if you want to add nuts to the final product or something like a dark chocolate chip or coconut flakes, other seeds, go for it. So you're going to need a couple bananas. Make sure they're pretty ripe. If they're really green, they're going to be starchy and not very sweet. So the pancake will turn out okay, but it won't be very sweet and you'll get some of that bitter starchiness from the green banana. The green banana starch is actually really good for your gut microbiota. So when you're eating a banana by itself, I always recommend buying one that are pretty green and enjoying that. But when you're making something or baking, you want it to be naturally sweeter. So I have these guys that have been sitting in my refrigerator, um, super ripe. They've turned more black because of the cooling of the refrigerator. I'm gonna use those so that they're naturally really sweet and I don't have to use quite as much maple syrup. But this is all you need and a high-speed blender to make something yummy, fiber-rich, um, some protein from our egg and our oats, but you can certainly add more. You could dump in a scoop um, of protein powder if you have it on hand, something like a whey protein concentrate. You could also add a little Greek yogurt here to spice it up. Okay, so here's my mess, but everything is now in my blender. So I put the milk, the bananas, the egg, um, my maple syrup on the bottom, so the heavy liquid items should go in first, and then you can top off with the oats and the dry ingredients, like the cinnamon and the baking powder, and the salt. And I'll just blend those until it's creamy. You don't have to over blend. If you want a little bit of the texture of the oat to come through, don't blend for quite as long. Great recipe with the use of a whole grain as the central um, carbohydrate here. Instead of using a flour, even something like a whole wheat or a whole grain flour still goes through processing and manufacturing. So we can make our own from a whole grain and still retain all of the fiber and nutrients in the product without needing to purchase a processed flour. So you could try this with other whole grains if you have them. I have not quite yet. Oats are an easy and pretty soft um, ingredient to use. They blend well so they're so really nice in a pancake. I'm gonna blend these up. If you need to stop and use a spoon or a spatula to blend that, go ahead. So I'm letting my pan heat up here over medium heat. I don't want it to be too hot so that they burn. I'm sure many of you have made pancakes before. So just hot enough to cook the underside but not burn it and have the inside remain raw. I melted about a tablespoon of avocado oil and a little pat of butter and just swirled it around the pan. So the butter gives it a nice flavor and that browning and beautiful color and the oil just raises the smoke point so that it can crisp up without burning burning. Butter tends to burn quickly. So I'm letting that heat up and I've got my blender here. Letting my pan heat up over medium heat. I don't want it to be too hot to burn the outside and have the insides remain raw, but hot enough to cook. So I'm just sort of temping the pan. I let about a tablespoon of avocado oil melt and a little pat of butter. So again, that butter gives it the rich flavor and also the beautiful brown color. The oil raises the 
smoke point and the cooking temperature of the oil so that you get that browning without the same burning effect of the butter. The milk solids in the butter tend to burn quickly, so the oil helps to raise the smoke point. And this is what I like. Um, this is a Vital Farms um, cow's milk butter that's pasture raised. So the milk comes from pasture raised cows. If you notice some butters like the Kerrygold, especially that's one of my favorites. It's a really beautiful, vibrant, rich yellow, which means that there's more nutrients and beta carotene in the final butter product. So a better for you choice. So I'm letting that heat up here and I've got my blender mix ready to go. I'm not even going to bother transferring this. I'm just going to pour an equal size um, little circles into my pan. Here we go. I poured two in the pan. So like you would make any other pancake, I'm going to wait until the top sides start to bubble a little bit and that the outer rim starts to turn a little bit brown before I check the other side and flip them. So I did an off-camera flip so that I didn't make a complete fool of myself and they're a little bit overlapped. That's okay, but see how they get a little crispy and brown on the outside? Yummy. So try not to over oil the pan here. I use just enough to coat the surface of the pan with a little bit butter, but the more oil that you use, the more the dough of the pancake's gonna absorb it and they tend just to become oily and sort of soggy right it, it masks the flavor of the pancake so just enough to brown but not too much and in case you're wondering this is what I do when I make pancakes I turn the oven on a really low bake temperature so like 200 225 and I just put my cooked pancakes in the oven so that they stay warm while I make the rest all done pretty stacked 